when a victim of the angelic circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> So Angel has mood swing. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not swing bro. You know Jago Leba. Thank you for being with your chicken. Hope you Let's finally talk about Angel and Suma's ship. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of exhausted already. You see, yeah, guys, I watched these two people yesterday in the head of house lounge, and um, I think for the first time, I appreciated a number of things more the way they have happened in the house. I I kind of appreciated more the fact that Suma had gotten a strike. Yeah, because of the way he had handled his issues with Angel. I also sort of appreciated more, you know, the, the fact that Soma had selected Angel as one of his BFFs for the week by virtue of him emerging the head of house of the week, guys, because it sort of gave me the opportunity to, you know, study them properly, yes. And now I can confidently make a video about both of them, you know, sharing with you my personal observations. And I'm sure that you have yours. So please, as we proceed on this video, go ahead and share with me the comment section below you might not agree with my observations but i would definitely love to learn yours all right and um yeah quick reminder that today by 3 p.m wat we're going to be converging here for our youtube live stream so i look forward to seeing all of you please make it a date with us come out and mass do not miss out there's a lot to unpack there's a lot to discuss okay and um you are all welcome to my youtube channel for those of you that are ogs here you are especially welcome back my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with Gloria Elijah and I am the girl with the tea. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, if you're still holding on to your subscription, release it. Amen. <laughs> release it. Please just go ahead and subscribe. All right. And also um, turn on your post notification bell, especially if you are looking for that space where you can get the most detailed factual and accurate analysis of reality TV shows, movies, and trending social topics. This is where you get all of that juicy tea. So please go ahead, do exactly what you see on your screen. Don't forget to like this video and feel free to share. Okay, now quickly, let's proceed with the details of Angel and Soma's ship. Before I talk about the event of yesterday between these two people, let's backtrack for a moment, all right? Let's take it from the top, briefly. So. We saw how Angel was the one that initiated the friendship between herself and Suma. And guys, when they started, I had made mention of the fact that there's just too many similarities, you know, with the way Angel had initiated this friendship, you know, as compared to how she had equally initiated the friendship between herself and Sami during the shiny eye season. There was no missing the fact that Angel was just basically relieving, you know, a part of our experience during the shiny eye season the only difference is that there is no cross in the picture i mean for now <laughs> we don't know there's still like five more weeks to go on the show so anything can happen but um unlike during the shiny eye season where she was very intentional about bringing in different people you know cross boma and whoever whoever um even kv yes this time around she is sort of playing a solo game with Suma in the picture and from the look of things she's giving off that air of having you know more feelings for the guy than usual i mean angel has changed so much that the angel that we knew during the shiny eye season that did not give an actual f you know about these guys sort of all of a sudden now gives an f about Suma. we see the way their quarrels affect her we see the way um their little lover spat you know tends to affect her mood and guys it's it's given me a lot of things to think about but anyways i wasn't thinking about it much anymore because there was just enough to see this week between these two people to 
put my thoughts into perspective. Now, I had shared with you all that first conversation Suma had had with Cross in the first week of the season when um, Adekuni was head of house and had selected them as um, part of his BFF's um, collection or selection. And um, Suma had had a conversation with Cross about Angel and um, had mentioned to Cross that he was not interested in Angel like that because it was in a serious relationship outside the house. Cross had equally said, that was not interested in rekindling whatever you know he had with angel and so they had left it at that and here i was thinking that suma was going to play a solo game but then lo and behold he got neck deep into his thing with angel and they started becoming intimate by intimate i mean they started kissing a lot a lot and a lot to the point that it now seemed like suma was becoming obsessed with angel i mean guys it really began to look like an obsession at this point i can't tell you if it is still an obsession but this guy is like neck deep into the ship we don't know if it's for real yet or if it's all a game but it looks so real and peaceful guys and this is not me even complaining at all i'm not mad at it yes because i kind of like seeing both of them together because they look so peaceful you know with each other and at peace with themselves yes now backtrack again to i think two weeks ago or last week um when big brother had issued the case strike biggie had also issued suma a strike for harassing angel why had he harassed angel on that particular night um he was jealous of the fact that angel was dancing with fraud at the party and that when he wants to speak with angel angel would not be available to give him her time because as at last week she was also in the head of house lounge um, by virtue of being one of mercy's bffs yes so it was quite chaotic guys between them that night and he had almost been a bit aggressive towards angel with the way he kept on hindering her from passing you know up the staircase to the head of us lounge um the way he was rough handling her the way he kept on dragging her hand the way he kept on stopping her in a in a path you know from moving forward or backwards it was just like a whole lot of harassment for angel that night and that was not the first time he was doing it he had done it before i think earlier that day or the previous day in the garden i mean guys everything had been sort of forced you know with Soma constantly needing Angel's attention and Angel sort of has like a short attention span to give to certain people yes we've seen that happen we've seen that play out a number of times on the show inclusive of during the shine your eyes season now fast forward to after the strike it seemed like it had given so much some sort of brain reset because angel has started avoiding him in fact she had almost severed their relationship save for the likes of the labor that had spoken to her and begged her on behalf of Soma, you know, to go talk to Soma, to go back to Soma. Now, Soma himself had also apologized to Angel and had promised to be of good behavior. Had also promised to try to learn her more and try to understand her temperament more. The moment Soma made that promise to Angel, Angel became a handful. Even prior to that, you know, that reconciliation that they had, something had also happened. I think it was last week, Saturday. I'm trying to remember. I think it was last week, Saturday. Yes. Um, okay, yeah. It was last week, Saturday, when Biggie had, you know, locked some housemates in the house and in the garden, banning them from getting into the party hall because they had broken the rules. They had been late. Now, Angel was one of those housemates that did not make it to the party and it had thrown her into a foul mode. Soma, of course, was in the party and the moment he got back into the house, Angel was angry at him for you know leaving her in the house like she was just angry at everything she was angry at the fact that she was done with her makeup she had dressed up and people had not allowed her to go to the party she was upset with the fact that her so-called boyfriend had left her behind in the house and had gone to the party she was just upset at everything and so Ma was quite shocked you know at her reasons for being upset with him and he was so dumbfounded that he was trying to talk to White Money about it and White Money was having a good laugh. It was so funny that White Money was laughing and even had to call Cross, you know, to welcome him officially to the Angels Mood Swings Club. Yes, guys, that was the night that they actually named Angels Mood Swings Angels Mood Janglovers. Yes, because according to them, what Angel goes through or what she displays during those times is more than mood swings. It's literally 
Charlie Jangulova. For those of you that do not understand the meaning of Jangulova, in Nigeria here, I mean, according to where I grew up, it's more like a swing still, but this one is more rocky, more precarious, very, very unstable, yes. So that was what they had named Angel's mood swing. And Cross and White Money were having a good laugh that day, you know? And they were telling him, listen, you have to learn to understand Angel because if you think Angel is going to make you comfortable to make herself uncomfortable, then you're joking. So if you know you really like her and you want to be with her, then you have to learn to deal with her mood swings. Yes, you cannot be upset when Angel is upset. You have to bring down your pride, bring down yourself and, you know, go with the flow, allow her to do whatever she wants to do at every given point in time when she has her swings. And then the next day, she's the one that was going to come to you and, you know, like you again and be friends with you again. And you people will continue from where you stopped. And Cross had shared maybe just a glimpse of his own experience with Angel and had said that that was the reason he was avoiding her like a plague because she really messed up with his mental health at the time they were together so guys all of that information that these guys had actually fed suma sort of put him in a state the guy was really confused and that was also what triggered his actions towards her that night you know because he really wanted both of them to talk and angel had refused and he was very very insistent became very very adamant and then that led to him harassing her which also led to him catching a strike. Fast forward to this week. So Ma emerged head of house, um, selected Angel as one of his BFFs, and it seemed like things, you know, became rosy between both of them. Of course, they've got their private space, they've got enough food to eat for the week, and they've got more time to spend with each other. So from night to night we see them cuddling we see them getting more intimate you know they started acting like they were on honeymoon started behaving like a couple you know and frankly speaking it was really sweet to watch as a matter of fact i think two days ago um angel did not have breakfast by herself so ma had actually fed her like a baby you know and that had been the case for these two people you know they're constantly cuddling you know just spending more time together to know each other and it felt like angel was you know getting neck deep as well just as much as suma is already neck deep into their relationship only for yesterday angel all of a sudden switched up on suma so from what they were talking about it turned out that at the pool party thursday night um, angel's drink was missing and she was upset about it and was transferring the aggression you know at suma guys i hope i'm getting the story right because they were just saying a lot of things and Angel woke up this morning with a mood swing, a very, very terrible one at that. So, Soma spent so much time trying to talk her out of it. And the way he was going about it, guys, he was so sweet about it. He was so gentle. He was so kind. He was so understanding. You know, he kept on rocking her like a baby. And through it all, Angel was humming like a child. She was just, mm, 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 mm. like, guys, she wasn't even smiling. It was like she was lost in another world entirely. And guys, for me, it was kind of annoying. But I do not want to entirely condemn it because um, some people that are therapists or maybe psychologists, they would give what she was doing a name. I don't know if there's a name to that. I don't know if there's a significance to that. I don't know. But if you have an idea, please let me know if you understand. Just let me know what you understand that Angel was doing, the reason she was actually humming. Because guys, I was kind of lost when she was doing that. But back to Soma. Soma was very understanding and allowed her, you know, to do what she was doing. And then he would hug her. He would kiss her forehead, kiss her cheeks. He moved her to the mirror. She was still doing the same thing. And then he was able to crack her open, you know, to get a smile and she smiled and guys even big brother got tired because the cameraman was following them around in the house and afterwards after trying so many times and angel was too stuck in a mood the camera left them now the entire day it felt like things had you know gone back to normal between both of them but by the end of the night angel all of a sudden was not speaking to suma anymore yes she was now keeping her space keeping her distance and guys that was really interesting for me because it now made me start questioning all of our actions the entire week. It made me wonder that, okay, fine, Angel, could it be that it's because Soma is not up for eviction this week? You decided to get really close to him to buy the favor of his fan base, you know, for his fans 
to vote for you since they are not voting for Suma this week. Do you genuinely even like this guy at all? Guys, frankly speaking, the switch up was real and it was quite unreasonable if you ask me. It was very, very unreasonable, very unnecessary, yes. And I just felt like Angel did what she did, you know, just to get away from Suma. Because coming into this house, these housemates, they've all talked about having a relationship outside the house. Angel is one of those people that really bragged heavily in the first and second week about having a beautiful life outside the house, having a boyfriend and whatever, whatever, whatever. So it made me wonder like, okay, fine, girl, are you just using this guy for the game? Are you just giving off the air of having fallen in love, you know, to make it look more real, make it look uh, more um, relatable and acceptable to people? Guys, what do you think? And also, you know, aside thinking that about Angel, I was actually giving Soma a lot of accolades because I don't know if it was Biggest Strike that sort of put him in that position, but I feel like in a way, he has sort of learned how to handle Angel. He has sort of learned how to be with Angel. So he's no longer reacting or overreacting. Instead, he's now trying to help her, you know, get into a better mode. But guys, I feel like it's quite exhausting because sometimes you look at this guy and it looks like he's so frustrated. He can't even burst open and express himself if he wants to, right? And he doesn't want to get Angel upset. So you see him doing all of these nice things to get her had to be okay <sighs> guys even me that's even talking about it i'm exhausted anyways i would love to hear from all of you are you guys feeling the ship at all or do you feel like angel is overdoing it at this point do you feel like angel is actually using this guy to play a game or do you think she's finally you know found someone that her spirit aligns with and she's actually enjoying whatever is going on between herself and suma please go ahead let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video soon have an amazing day Bye.